rule the room identifies some needs uh, in education that are being very much neglected by instructors who are very well intentioned, want, who want, desperately want their students to learn, but they just don't know what they're missing. And I've been one of these instructors. You know, I've struggled wanting to, my students to understand the why and as well as the how and the what. And I just haven't really picked, I haven't really given that need a name. Jason gives that need a name. And not only gives it need a name, he set, gives us a systematic way, you know, even an algorithm for um, identifying what our students need to know, the whys that they need to know, and how we can lead them towards those whys for themselves, get those light bulbs. It is very exciting to, to take a look at your curriculum, to bring your curriculum to the situation, to examine your curriculum, and then to kind of work it through the step-by-step -step process and making sure that things are easy to understand. What wasn't a light bulb for me today? Um, the aha moment was basically, aha, I'm doing everything wrong, I need to do it right. <laughs> I, I was very pleased in understanding the concept on the being more formalized and how you would go into detail with instructional information given to someone so you can have an absolute confidence that they're going to get it, they're going to get the knowledge. Um, a lot of times me being one that myself relies off of brevity because all people learn in different styles at different paces, what a lot of us may understand quickly uh, will not be the same as what someone needs more detail about. And today's session here gave me the actual understanding of the concept of how much detail one would have to go to if you're going to deliver that information to someone else who's in need of learning the concept. Light bulbs is uh, both similar and different uh, in terms of how Jason approaches uh, the process of teaching these light bulbs, these, you know, these things that are difficult for students to understand. Uh, the thing that's similar is he continues to bring the systematic approach of, you know, we're going to think about why we're doing, you know, why do we need to teach light bulbs? Why do we need to teach concepts, right? He starts with, you know, there are three things, concepts, or the concepts, definitions, algorithms, you know, different words for that, all those same things, right? There are those three things, and we are missing in our education system teaching the concepts. We are overwhelmingly missing the why, and Jason is saying we need to do that. That's the first thing we need to do. When Jason asked me to identify concepts that were needed for my course, uh, that were important for my course, I saw, I, I, I thought about limits. We were just talking about limits, and we why, why do limits exist? Why are they, why are they so important? We, we, and me and my friend were talking about how they're important, but why do they even exist? We started talking about that, and I realized, oh, I need to teach my kids that. That's a light bulb that I need to teach. Why do limits exist? Not just how to use them and what to do and what they are. It's, it's a good thing for me to know that um, what I do that I can explain it in a more formal concept for people to understand it. It's on a higher curriculum scale than I've ever been. And for me to relate to when you pass that on to other people how you can be more intelligent in explaining to them the formalized concept title and understanding of what it's called for what you do and what kind of response you get out of the individual. If you care, I think that this program is something you're going to want to look into. I I've been blown away by it.